Starkey's new Real Ear Measurement Target Match is a tool providers can use to fit hearing aids that allows them to measure the sound the patient receives at their eardrum. First, the ear canal's resonance is measured to see how their ear canal naturally changes the sound it receives. Much like how speaking inside a closet full of hanging clothes dampens the sound and reduces echo, or speaking into an empty auditorium with high ceilings and hard surfaces changes the sound, so too our ears change the sound based on the size of the ear canal, curves in the ear canal, and skin density. The standard ear boosts frequencies around 3000 Hz. Hearing aid manufacturers simulate the standard ear on a dummy called Keymar in a completely soundproof room called an anechoic chamber, specifically built for this type of testing where there are no sound reflections. In order to ensure that the sound you receive is what your hearing loss prescription calls for, real ear measurements are taken. Starkey has recently worked with the hardware manufacturers of three different systems to streamline the normally tedious process of making adjustments to correct for non-standard ears by making the adjustments automatically for the provider once the difference between the predicted values and actual values are measured. Let's see how this process looks when we're using the software. First, hearing aids are connected to Starkey's software by the provider in the office. Second, the microphones on the real ear measurement hardware are calibrated at half a meter from the speaker system of the real ear measurement hardware. Third, the probe tube that funnels the sound to the microphones is inserted into the ear canal to measure the ear canal's resonant frequencies. A sound measurement is taken at a distance of one meter from the real ear measurement speakers. Fourth, the hearing aids are placed into the patient's ears without moving the microphone probe tubes. Fifth, the real ear measurement system plays specific sounds to measure the hearing aid's amplification of sounds at an input level of 65 decibels. Sixth, Starkey's real ear measurement system corrects the amplification differences between the predicted values and the actual values. Seventh, Optimum amplification is now set for the patient's hearing aids.